Hello there everyone, my name is Clink and welcome back to Pikmin 3 Deluxe. Today we're going to be finishing off the Distant Tundra after finishing the Garden of Hope in its entirety yesterday. Uh, only four fruits to get today, not too many, and I should be able to get them all in one day, I'm hoping. It's just, man, some of these are going to be a little hard. So I'm going to get 15 reds, let's get 20 wings. 35 rocks, I think, will be enough, and 30 blues. So I'm going to split into multiple squads pretty much straight away here. Mainly the blues are going to be a separate squad. So with Alf, we're going to have all the blues. And with Brittany, I'm going to have it, and Charlie, I guess, too. We're going to have everything else. So I'm going to have them come over here because I need to take out the... Uh, the Whatchamadoodle, the Swooping Snitch Bug, and I need these guys to take out this Meer Meerkat. Is that? I, I'm already forgetting what the enemies are called. And please kill it in one cycle. Come on. Come on. There you go. Good. And I can go on ahead and kill these guys. These water skitters. Uh, but there's gonna be water dumples too. Ugh. Water dumples. Okay, the water skitters I'm actually just gonna leave. And then we'll knock down this wall. And then we can take out this swooping snitch bug. So, we're gonna be heading towards some ball bears today. This is our first time encountering them in Pikmin 3 at least. And the ball bear works pretty much the same as in Pikmin 2, except it doesn't have the respawn mechanic anymore, which oh thank god it doesn't. That was such a terrible idea. I always hated the respawning enemies, um, but it's not going to be too terribly bad, I hope. I can take him out without much trouble. The game actually supplies you with a lot of bomb rocks for this, so it's pretty a pretty good idea to just take advantage of them. Uh, we need at least 10 winged Pikmin to survive. So that we can open this door back up, go on ahead and enter, and we're going to take out these dwarf ball bears as soon as possible before the the main ball bear notices us. Okay, I think we're good so far. We want to destroy this wall, and then I want the wings to bomb up. Guys, grab some bombs. What are you doing? All of you, all of you get bombs. Especially before the ball bear notices me. Okay, there we go. This is enough bombs. So we're gonna throw one down here. He'll drop it. There is a badge for destroying three enemies at once that I do want to bring up at least. And that was a bad placement of that, but whatever. This is probably gonna be your best bet to get it, is just kill all the ball bears in one swoop with a bomb. So we'll just throw a Pikmin down right here with a bomb. Hopefully that hits all three of them. Nope. Okay. Uh, let's see if I can distract both of these two, maybe? Actually, while I'm doing this, I should start getting the fruit dug up. You two, die. Thank you. And yeah, no one's gonna... Okay. So this fruit's annoying to dig up just because you need to throw Pikmin all the way around the ring of it and it can just not want to cooperate at all and okay whatever i'm just gonna blow these guys up i don't care anymore <laughs> but you can get a badge in here it's not too terribly hard to get <clears throat> you just have to be smarter about your bomb placements and kill this guy, please. Is the fruit already out? Wow. That's fast. And... I think we're all good. Okay, guys, come on. Over here. Over here, everybody. Oh, wait, I need to be careful because of the... fire. But they just... They just walked right past. Okay. <clears throat> All right, that's that fruit out of the way. And that's the hardest one. Uh, I'm not leaving you behind, sir. I will take the extra time to go back and get him. 
Where is he? There he is. Mr. Rock Pikmin, get your butt over here. Thank you. And I think now I can just have these guys uh, head back without much trouble in the way. So we'll... Yeah, I'm going to have them head back. And then Alf is going to get this fruit. Okay, there we go. And then I need to take Alf over here. Why can't I go here? Oh, that's why. So, like I said, we are... Or, no, I don't think I've said it yet. We're actually going to have to take on a Shaggy Longlegs today as well. That's going to be the main thing to get done. And the main struggle of today. I'm going to bring as many Rock Pikmin with me as I can to see if I can kill it faster. Okay, you know what? Oh! <laughs> it was a really bad time to throw that. Uh, okay, now that Alf is over here, I'm, I'm actually going to go on ahead and take care of these guys. Probably something I should do. I mean, I should probably focus on getting to the other thing more, but... Um, no need for reds, no need for wings, just rocks. So with all of our rocks in tow, and you will need two captains for this as well, if I remember correctly. So I don't want any blues with me. And it's going to be over here where you fight it. So we're just going to go to this part of this cave. And then we're going to have Alf take care of this, this guy. Stop being angry. Stop being angry. Okay, good. Will they take him out with only one charge? They will. Good. And now we're all good with our blues. Kill it. Kill this guy. Why aren't you killing it? Kill him, please. Thank you. Okay, now that they're actually here and we have enemies out of the way, I'm gonna head back to base and then we'll head over here. And Charlie is going to be fighting this uh, Shaggy Longlegs. Um, one thing I did want to at least bring up a little today at some point was uh, the last four or five parts. Uh, the first ones were the first ones that I recorded since I moved, and I guess when I got everything set back up, my capture card decided to also mess up a little bit, and this led to it uh, outputting a, or recording at a lower resolution than what I normally do. I normally record these at 1080p, and then I got a uh, 720p video for the last few videos, so sorry those came out at a little lower quality than normal. I didn't really notice until after all the parts were pretty much ready. Ooh, if I can get... Did I really get all four of the first parts of the legs in one cycle? Wow. So this fight is going to be the more annoying of the Shaggy Long Legs battles just because he will go into the water, and that can really uh, slow this down, but I am just destroying him. Wow. Can I lock onto him? If I can get him in a single cycle, I will be genuinely impressed. I've never done that before. Wow. <laughs> there you go. There, There's a pretty fast Shaggy Long Legs kill in Distant Chandra. Definitely not speedrunner fast, probably, but I would say that was pretty fast. And that's the last fruit here, so we're pretty much done. I should... I think, yeah, that's all of them. So we're we're done with Distant Tundra once this gets back. I could probably farm up a few extra blues or something, but... Actually, yeah, that's not a bad idea. I don't have nearly as many blues as I do all the other types, though. So. Come on, change colors. I never did figure out how to get up to that data log. Yes. I don't really care about getting all the data logs. I feel like there's not really much reason to show them. They're all just tutorial pieces. Although, they, I'll, I'll admit, they were kind of like the biggest pain to find on the first playthrough. Uh, I also do want to bring up while I am here uh, is log poles. There's not really too good of a time to really bring them up in pretty much any run almost. Like, I completely forgot about them when I had to pick them one and had to put them in the bonus video. There's a pull of them right here. You will need to kill at least one to get it into your Piclopedia. 
So, gone ahead, take care of that. And actually, let's take a look at the Piclopedia today, since this part's gonna get cut pretty short. So we've seen all of these creatures naturally in the game. Yeah, I fought all of these. I never did address what, uh, where, where'd it go? But this guy actually is the Nectaris Dandafly, but he was right in front of the bridge for the Scorn at Maestro. As you can see, I've only killed one in all my time playing the game, so. But they drop a bunch of nectar if you want to do that. Um, and some of the stuff we'll actually see when we return to the Twilight River. But I don't want to keep some of that stuff on screen for too long, just because we'll get to it sooner or later. And... Oh, I can actually bring back a few corpses, too. I promise I won't spend too much time doing this, though. Just, uh, get those on that. Because we are now done with the Distant Tundra. There's nothing left for us to do here, so... I just want to get these few extra blues, and then I'll end the day. Which... Short part. I honestly thought it would take me longer, because I was expecting the... Jaggy Longlegs fight to take me, like, half the day. You, sir, get over here. And I'm gonna end the day. Didn't get that badge, but there's actually... You can pretty much get that badge just about anywhere. I think you can get it in the mission mode as well, which... We'll get around to mission mode at some point. I probably won't cover mission mode immediately after this series finishes, or at least the story mode, but... Uh, like Pikmin 2, I'm gonna get to it eventually. I haven't forgotten about Pikmin 2s, by the way. I just, uh... I'll be honest, I haven't, like, felt too much like sitting down to record the Pikmin 2 one yet. Um, whenever I feel like playing some more Pikmin 2, though, I'll probably yeah. sit down, do that, and then get them done at some point. I also just don't really know how I want to structure it, because a lot of the challenges are just way too short for their own video. And then it'll be really weird to figure out how I want to split them, but... I'm... I'll probably just fit as many as I can into like 20 minutes or so, and then uh, see how many I get through per video until they're all done. Since we're sharing with that Hockitation, everyone's portions are smaller tonight, the captains in particular. I think Louie, well actually Louie probably would drink like three quarters of it on his own, they should give that to him last. And there we go. How many Pikmin did I lose today? One? That's pretty good. And no more Distant Tundra for the rest of the game. That's two out of the four areas done. I'm expecting to take two days on the other two areas, although I'm kind of hoping I can do Tropical Wilds in one day, but we'll see how that actually goes. Careful observation of the blue Pikmin has revealed that they have the ability to swim as well as attack in the water. The way they open their mouths is so cute, but I think that is their way of extracting oxygen from the water. They appear to be opening... There appear to be openings on their cheeks that resemble gills. They're so cute when they're swimming around and swarming onto something to kill it. Love blue Pikmin in this game. I love the change to the swimming. I think it's so great. And that leaves us on to day 16. I was honestly expecting to be on like day 18 by now. Or... At the, with how much stuff I have done, at least. A variety of fruit on this Oh, wow, okay. Same dialogue, man. One thing I do actually want to talk about is I'm going to go to the title screen before I end this part. Is, uh, once you've actually gotten Louie in the game, at least in the story mode, is he will show up on... Whoops, I don't want to be here. Uh, this file. I'll actually show up with your captains, although it kind of makes it seem like Louie should be one of the captains, but you never actually get to play as a Louie, which is quite unfortunate. Also, in the bottom left here, you can see all of your previous day adventure logs if you ever want to reread them. And what? I've actually never looked at the rankings in the top five. Oh, uh, this is like worldwide ranking data. Okay. Most retrieved is 66. Oh, right, okay. I see. So that's like your personal. And then you have your top five runs. I don't know why it's not giving me a top five, but whatever. Yeah, uh, that's really going to do it for this part. I will see you guys next time where we'll head back to the Tropical Wilds to get the rest of the fruit there. Bye-bye. 
Okay, it's a good thing this part ended up a little shorter because I completely forgot about the murals. The first one is going to be right next to this mushroom. There's a uh, meerkat right here, I believe, that we killed earlier. And this is where like an arctic cannon beetle was. It should just be right here on the wall. There you go. And on to the next mural from here. Alright, mural number two is going to be in the cave with the uh, pyroplasmic sluches, that's what they're called. You can kind of see the mural right there, you just need to look up on this wall, and there's the yellow Pikmin underneath these mushrooms. And on to the last one. The third and final mural of the area, this is going to be where we got the cherry at the start of the game. It's actually inside of this tunnel right here. Right on, right here on the map, I guess. Just to show that next to the onion. So really close by. And it's just right there in front of you. And that's the actual end of the part. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.